So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Uh, Vartika Saini for scoring rank number 12 in DM Medical Group in NEET SS session 2023. Congratulations and best wishes to you, Doctor. Thank you so much, sir. Doctor, can we know about your uh, brief background from where you started until date, what all you have done? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir. Uh, basically, I reside in Ajmer and I have done my MBBS uh, from Gitanjali Medical College, Udaipur. And uh, uh, I did my post-graduation from Jalen Medical College, Ajmer. And I have completed my MD uh, in July 2023 only. And I appeared uh, for DM uh, Super Speciality for the first time this year only. And I have secured a rank of 12. Doctor, how how you did it? Because July you completed, August was only one month and September 9th was the scheduled exam. It was postponed for 29th, uh, I mean end of that month. Not even 29th, I believe. I think, I mean, uh, last week. And uh, and you have done it, I mean, uh, beautifully. How, can you tell us, how, what did you do? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, uh, uh, I started uh, preparing at the end of the second year. Uh, because uh, before that, uh, it was all COVID. So, I was not really oriented and uh, the medicine cases were quite less. So, by the end of the second year, as uh, COVID cases decreased and the proper medicine uh, postings uh, started and super specialty uh, postings were also there. So, at that time, I started studying case-wise initially. I was not oriented uh, towards that super specialty uh, part initially. So, I start, uh, start studying uh, uh, case-wise. And that time, uh, at the end of the second year, I joined Speed app. As uh, two to three of my seniors has recommended me about uh, speed app, so I joined at that time. And uh, uh, when I used to see case, I used to come back. I used to read the same topic from the Harrison. Uh, then I used to watch uh, speed videos, and uh, whatever I was not able to understand or whatever I have missed during the reading, I used to make notes. It uh, is my habit from the UG times that uh, I always make notes in my handwriting. I better understand them actually. And I used to do vice versa also sometimes that I used to watch videos and uh, then I used to go to Harrison and uh, whatever I felt uh, that it is an important line. So I used to note down that actually. So most of the sub subjects I had made notes in my handwriting only and some which I have missed uh, by the end of the third year when it was and I had less time. So I got uh, printed notes actually of uh, the subjects uh, which were having uh, less weightage like critical care medicine and the last portion of the Harrison which included high altitude sickness and genetics. I got uh, printed notes of these uh, topics and uh, uh, rest uh, I was uh, studying medicine uh, and thoroughly at that time I, and I just made notes and it was in my mind that I have to make notes at least of the major subjects and important topics. I didn't watch every video. But yeah, uh, the important I used to cover, which we used to see across uh, uh, our daily day-to-day -day, uh, life. So that's how I prepared. Then uh, in the last two to three months, sir, I used to watch uh, the recall videos when I started uh, solving MCQs in the last two to three months. So I used to first watch the recall videos of the various uh, NESS and the NEET SS uh, specialty videos. And I just used to analyze the important portions at that time. And then I used to study those topics more prop in a more proper way. I used to solve MCQs alongside and uh, that really helped me. And also I used to watch in the last one month, uh, since it was a vast course, so I used to watch the rapid revision videos multiple times. I have watched them. They were really, really helpful actually. And uh, now the 21st uh, edition, which is updated in the Speed app, uh, it covers uh, chapter-wise uh, each and every chapter actually of the Harrison that's uh, really really helpful and it, it has uh, really helped me uh, in the preparation. Great doctor, very very precise and very detailed uh, way and you have told us. Now uh, this rapid revision that you watched, I mean this I am hearing for almost in every interview from a medical group student that that is highly protective of the entire uh, uh, application loaded. It was very productive towards the last minute of revision and the exam. Yes, sir. it was because uh, it's uh, really difficult to cover each and every topic in detail in the last minute uh, because 
uh, already we are very much anxious about the exam which is coming so the rapid revision video covers the very uh, the it's very crisp actually what you are required to remember what you will forget in your uh, uh, daily uh, reading notes uh, the rapid revision video covers that points and that have really helped me various questions were uh, asked from these uh, rapid revision videos so it was really helpful and plus uh, we have to revise it multiple uh, times no doubt uh, for whatever exam we are appearing but uh, i had also given the gts of uh, almost all gts i have given so that has uh, really helped me <laughs> almost around 20 really around 20 gts are there actually uh, yes yeah, so it was uploaded in the last but i was able to give at least 17 okay so 17 is a big number <laughs> yes sir. i used to give every 5 days because uh, it covers uh, uh, questions from each and every specialty that actually trains your mind to you know solve uh, questions from each specialty so uh, it was really helpful sir <laughs> it's a very comprehensive and a systematic and a disciplined approach you have done in uh, all aspects i mean the rank Thank number you. 12 has not come just like that it is not just one month job it was a job of almost more than one and a half years that has been meticulously planned and executed that's the reason why it is there <laughs> yes sir. thank you congra- thank congra- you congra- congratulations to you and what specialty you are interested in doctor uh, sir i'm uh, actually i'm still confused between oncology and uh, endocrinology but uh, my inclination is more towards medical oncology sir very good now you have a choice to choose where you wanted actually So yes, sir. now you can take whatever the best institute that you wanted to do. Definitely, you have options for that. Now, uh, can you? What is the message that you want to give to the students who are aspiring for uh, DM super charity? Uh, so I would definitely <coughs> say that uh, uh, now they have proper three years of training. Uh, in our period, the COVID was there, but now uh, there is no COVID actually. So the approach should be case wise. and whatever cases are being there in the ward they should be thoroughly studied because the paper uh, what i according to me it was from the topics which we see in day to day life and uh, only the question of framing was tricky otherwise it was uh, it should be case wise approach and uh, whatever super specialty they are aspiring for that should be studied in the second year because that is when a person gets time first year is all hectic uh, we have to get orient to the medicine only first in first year so and definitely uh, notes uh, some people uh, love to write notes some people get printed notes so it's important to have notes for the end time uh, really important actually and uh, the various tables which we study during the harrison very high yielding uh, questions were asked mul- multiple questions were asked from these tables this time and it is important to revise and revise multiple revisions are being required along with question solving in the last so that should be the strategy according to me this is what i have done sir great can we know how many number of questions did you attend in this exam uh, sir i have attempted uh, 141 questions sir very nice very good now uh, time to thank whom all you want to thank you feel that they have stood by you helped you and from uh, day 1 till today this career I mean today what you are in today uh, i would firstly like to thank my father and mother both they have inspired me a lot i started my journey from a private medical college and they have been constantly inspiring me uh, a lot so Uh, i would like to really thank them for that for trusting me and definitely my teachers from the ug days from my post graduate day uh, from post graduate days uh, my guide always used to say that uh, you need to make the diagnosis of this case either today or in the uh, by the next morning and that really pushed me to study more and more so that was really helpful and definitely uh, the speed platform the videos the knowledge uh, uh, if something was lacking uh, it was really helpful sir hmm. great doctor i mean i could see observe in the walls actually you have written some notes i believe so uh, yes sir uh, okay. these were the things uh, which we usually tend to forget the flow charts and the 
single liners which we used to forget so whenever i used to roam i used to see these i I, mean, I think i could see all around your room we've been with multiple notes of uh, kind of i think all of these are notes actually all these are uh, yes they are the important points i used to stick them in front of me so even if i stare at the wall i could see those how notes. how how motivating and an inspirational uh, way for you as well and also for people looking from outside to us <laughs> the room has i actually wanted to make it so uh, interesting i don't want it to be monotonous so mm. i tried to use multiple ways of studying so so what all basically you write the values numbers what mean what kind of stuff you write it there in the notebook what do you write what do you write in the wall uh so uh, like i have revised multiple times two to three times and still if i'm not able to recall that topic i used to put it there the values i used to write in a separate copy uh but uh, the tables uh, the various causes uh, of something if given in table we can't remember all but the important point which uh, has a probability of being asked in the question so i used to write that point only so when I mean from this there would be some productivity for your exams as well right some questions would have come from this areas also definitely so it has helped me <laughs> so re- really nice and quite I mean very inspiring truly inspiring yes and and now if i mean if if you could just look around uh, your room all this uh, data us and now the output is also there for that yes so people watching this video definitely will get inspired yes so Thank you, very nice and you will be really a motivating factor and a role model okay <laughs> doctor uh, uh, we are coming almost close to the end of this interview and yes. uh, so once again we wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career in medical oncology as a dm oncologist and definitely the kind of the passion that you have for medicine and now it is for the medical oncology you definitely will do wonders for patients for that thank you so much c- congratulations and uh, advanced wholehearted wishes from the entire speed medical institute and the faculty team and team of speed to you all the best thank you so much thank sir you. thank you thank you